Hello everyone, it's Serenity. So in my last video, I talked about unity and how important it was to put aside all differences and try and find some common ground. Okay, so the thing about me encouraging unity is because unification is dangerous to, I'll just say the other side, if you want to rule people, okay? It's not good for these competing powers because unity brings about self-sufficiency. Now, basically what humanity should be doing is working for each other instead of against each other or for these low vibrational energies, okay? So what do I mean by work with each other? Well, this is exactly what happened actually in Genesis chapter 11 with Nimrod, the Tower of Babel. Yep, yep. Instead of working against each other or for these low vibrational energies, they started working for each other, okay? Like cooperation, basically. Now, before y'all say, no, no, this can't, just hang on, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to read Genesis chapter 11. And I'm going to read 5 through 9, where that says, But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down there and confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore, its name is called Babel. Because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth. And from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. Okay. So, if you see here, there was unity. Everyone spoke one language. Obviously, that would create unity. There would be no divisive actions or anything like that. Now... Like I had mentioned, unity is the enemy of this Lord God and the ones who support him. Because once they have unity, they become self-sufficient. They no longer need him. They don't need his, his guidance or domination or anything like that. And the other thing was, is just like all these other structures <laughs> that have been found on the planet, that are still standing. Some have been buried and whatnot. Um, basically, they were creating a tower, which just wasn't a structure. It actually had a purpose to basically, how do I put this? Act as a way for these ones to connect to intelligent life, other dimensions, that type of thing, okay? So it wasn't just a structure. If it was just a structure, then this Lord would not have had any issue with it, okay? <laughs> because this structure, remember, is it physically possible for a tower whose top is in the heavens? No. But you could reach the heavens through basically electromagnetic means to reach, as I said, other dimensions. Okay. <laughs> so this is why this Lord did not want this happening. He needed to confuse humans in order to break this unity up so they never knew that there was a higher power, that he wasn't God or the Lord or, you know, who he's claiming to be. So he had to put a stop to that. Now, I had mentioned the flood as well. This was another one of those situations where people were actually becoming unified. There were 
ones from other dimensions and galaxies coming and going on Earth. Everyone was unified. Once again, he can't have this, so he puts an end to it. So, this is another example. And once again, this whole situation, which it happened, it's in the Sumerian tablets as well. They twist it by saying, oh, they were rebelling against the Lord and this and that. And th Listen, <laughs> any real parent wants to raise their child to be self-sufficient, okay? And even achieve more than they were even able to achieve. They don't have jealousy toward their child or their children. They actually have pride. This is source. This is the true father. This is how they want things to be, but not the Lord, because he doesn't want that. He wants to be in control, because through this control is how he is validated um, as far as feeling needed and important. He needs external factors because actually he lives in fear of being unneeded, of being unwanted. And he projects that onto everything else that he wants to control. But if he seen his value the way Source sees all of her creations, he would not have a need for dominance and control and the behaviors that he exhibits. So this is actually why Jesus had mentioned in John 10, 34 and 35. I'll read that. Where it says, Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. So here, Jesus refers to people as gods. Because, as I said, this genetic, basically hybridization that was introduced to the human race that needed to progressively take effect made humanity light beings, children of source, okay? That's why he could refer to them as gods. It is lowercase gods, but gods nonetheless, because they could co-create and they could also make their thoughts become reality, just like source and all of those that come from source, okay? Now, in John 14 and verse 12, Where it also says, most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my father. Once again, Jesus had said, greater works than these I do. Now, let's just say if Jesus is a physical manifestation of source, okay? So a physical manifestation of God. And God says, you're going to do things even greater than me. Why would this loving source energy parent want to dominate, control, and keep the children from learning and becoming self-sufficient? It makes no sense. And this Bible has skewed what Source and the True Father want for all beings to be self-sufficient, to be able to operate as they do. Not to be dominated, not to be looked up to. Like true gods and sources don't want to be looked up to, revered, worshipped, and seen as better than everyone else. It's just not true. It's not. As I mentioned in another video, and I will link it somewhere, that true divine beings that come from light and love are humble. They're not arrogant. They do not feel they are better than 
the very ones that have come from them, it is not like that. It's love. It's pride. Because think about it. How much pride would you have as a parent when you can see your children be self-sufficient and say, look what they've accomplished. Those are our children. That is source. Not this energy who has proclaimed himself as the true and the only God that has gotten many people to worship him and actually used the true offspring of source to manipulate people via means of the Bible and religion, mainly Christianity. So that's what I wanted to say for today. That's why unity is important. Because once ones are unified, these energies that compete for power will no longer have the power. Okay? <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Take care, everyone. I love you. Bye-bye.